good, everybody? This is your boy Jagging Off the Go to Jag YouTube. Not afford a bowl city Duval. We in a fucking building yet again. All right, so we signed uh, Laquan Treadwell. Now, before I get into how he fits in and what his and you know what his chances of making the team are, here's my overall perception of this fucking guy. Um. I caught a couple games of his in college, and you know I like I liked him. Like I thought, you know, he had some he had some potential, but part of his problem was he's kind of the victim of getting of playing on rosters that have that are stacked at receiver. Like so, he hasn't really had much of an opportunity to shine. Like you think, like you think about it in Minnesota, he was playing behind. Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen and, you know, even Jarius Wright from the slot. And then, um, what you call it? Uh, Kyle Rudolph at tight end. So how much of a really of an opportunity was he going to get? And then when he was in Atlanta, he was playing with Calvin Ridley, Julia and, um, Russell Gage. And then, uh, Hayden Hurst is a tight end, so again, how much of an opportunity he was he gonna get? And yes, I called him Julia. Fuck, guy talking about he wants to win, talking about he wants to win, then gets then accepts a trade to Trashville. And then his boy AJ Lee talking about all oh, the league done fucked up. Man, shut the fuck up, y'all are trash. So, fucking Julia. So yeah, he ain't Julio no more. He's Julia. So Julia, AJ Lee fucking baby Huey with the dookie turd coming out his helmet and tranny hill and every last trashville fan with the exception of my guy roll data and um matt moon because you know i can at least have a conversation i can at least have a conversation with them logically about football and not think you know i'm in a trailer park with when motherfuckers was are like half deep into a bottle of jack so with the exception of those two dudes all the trashville can suck my fucking dick but anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, yeah, so the boy Treadwell, he, um, yeah, he's kind of been a victim of being on rosters with that are stacked at receiver. But at the same time, you're a first round pick. You gotta make, you gotta make, get the attention of coaches, and you know, show they could trust you, and you know, get your ass in there and ball like you're supposed to do. So. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I think I think at this point, though, he knows that at this point in his career, he's fighting for his football life. So, you know, that pressure is going to be on him to do good. But here is another situation. Here he's in another situation where the Jags have a really fucking crowded receiver room right now. Like, there are four, there, in my opinion, there are four locks on the team right now at receiver. And all four of them can, you know, could, you know, be number twos. You can make an argument they could be number twos on, you know, a lot of teams. Or possibly even number ones. You know, you got DJ Chark, LaVisca Chenault, uh, Marvin Jones, and Colin Johnson. Those are the really the only four that are really going to see the field, uh, barring injuries. Like... You know, you got that kind of you got that kind of talent receiver. Like, who else you need to throw the fucking ball to? Unless they put Kyle, unless which I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this in another video. Unless like it's possible to put Colin Johnson at tight end. But uh, okay, so you got so there's those. For the purposes of this of this conversation, I'm not gonna include. Farrell Cooper and Jamal Agnew because they're special teams guys. They're kick returners. Like they may fuck around and list Jamal Agnew as a defensive back just so they can keep uh, more receivers. And um, you know, Farrell Cooper, he may not factor into this. Like an extra spot may just be his, whichever one they keep, if both of them. So yeah, we're not gonna factor in those two. So if you talk about the four, if you including the four locks and then the two um the two special teams got as you take them away there's basically two receiver spots left up for grabs between a lot of heads right now like treadwell's entering a thing entering competition with philip dorsett jalen camp who was our sixth round pick this year um but 
around that late, that really doesn't make you a lock to make the roster. Just being all the way real. You get him, and then um, you've got what the fuck's his name? Josh. It matters if he's having a baby. Like, I don't know how the fuck you say this dude's last name, but he's an undrafted free agent receiver from from Illinois. So we're just going to call him Josh from Illinois for the purposes of this conversation. I don't know how the fuck you get a last name this long and make it sound like you're saying a sentence. But, okay, you got him. You got some random named Tim Jones. And then we got my guy Josh Hammond, who was on our practice squad last year, the former Florida Gators receiver. So, you know, the two the two undrafted rookie, the two rookies, Camp and Josh from Illinois, I put on tape of them. They look pretty. They look pretty solid from college. Um, uh, Josh Hammond, uh, he was far from my favorite receiver at Florida because he's competing with dudes like Darius Tooney, um, uh, Van Jefferson, and um, Trayvon Grimes. So like. I don't know with him. Uh, um, I don't know shit about this dude, Tim Jones. And then, um, you know, and Philip Dorsett, people talk about Philip Dorsett like he's a sure enough lock, and I honestly fail to see how. Like, Philip Dorsett, like, he had his chance, like, it's not like Treadwell where we got him in sample sizes. Like, he had his chance with the Colts, he had his chance with the Patriots. And he didn't put together one, and like last year he was on Seattle, but I can't remember if he was on the fucking COVID list or went on injured reserve, but he didn't fucking play, is all I know. I don't know what happened with him. You know, maybe uh, my man Bersinio or my girl PCG in, out there in Seattle can tell me what the fuck happened with Philip Dorsett, because I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this dude was, um, he was gone, he wasn't, didn't play last year, and he hasn't had a season where he's caught over 40 balls. He hasn't had a season, he's had one season where he's had over 500 yards, and then um, he had one season, his max amount of touchdowns in one year is five, which is respectable, but he's only done it once, and like I think every other year has one or two touchdowns. So, unless Philip Dorsett gets behind the, behind the defense on a bomb, he's basically fucking useless. So, you know, what are we talking about? I don't see how this dude's a lock. But... I don't know, some people think he is, but, um, yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, but, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with these receivers, man, like, I'm personally looking forward to the battles in camp, but, um, Quan Treadwell's got his work cut out for him, but, you know, I, like I said, I still, th like, I think he has potential, and he's young enough to turn around, so, I don't know, we'll see what happens and see if he can grab one of these spots, like, I don't know if I'm necessarily pulling for anybody to, to really do it. Just, you know, I want the best guys on the field. That's all That's all I got to say. But um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this dude, Treadwell. But um, anyways, that's it. That's all. It's your boy jagging off. Go Jags. Duval till I die. Go.